What's up YouTube? Sticks and Seams 25 coming at you with a 90s insert mail day video today. Um, yes, that was a tongue twister. One of these cards um, I didn't have and I saw my buddy uh, Bill, the Hall of Fame collector, show it off with his Maddox. So I went and searched out a Griffey. And the other is a Griffey that I've wanted for a long time and didn't pull the trigger when I should have. Thought I missed out on that boat because the card sells for three to four times what it was selling for about seven, eight months ago. And stumbled across a very, very, very good deal. So without further ado, I'm going to hop into this one. Up first is from 1998 Pacific Invincible. It is the photo engravings insert of Griffey. And these were one out of 37 packs. Card has a, a, a texture, almost almost like a parchment, um, and as you can see, it must have been perforated and popped out, just the, kind of the style of it. Uh, beautiful card, uh, really psyched to add this one. Um, you know, I didn't know it existed until Bill showed his Maddox off. But the interesting thing with Pacific for me is, you know, I remember Pacific when I was a kid, it, you know, at the checkout counter at a 7-Eleven, Cumberland Farms, any kind of little stop like that. And I never liked them, um, would never buy them. Yeah, obviously, now I appreciate what Pacific is all about. Their insert cards are rare, and they're probably even more rare now. But also, the technology in their cards was so far superior to anything that anybody else was putting out, aside from, like, you know, refractors from Topps products. But, um, you know, I Pacific for me then is what Panini is to me now. I don't really care for Panini products. I don't like that they don't have the logos. They do a good job with, like, the artistry and... Uh, and honestly, a lot of their cards are very simplistic, which I like, but uh, the logo is not being there. I don't know. It just kind of, it just turns me off. So um, I'm glad that I like in Pacific products now because some of the Pacific cards that I have of Griffey and Nomar are the, my favorite in the collection. So I definitely recommend taking a look down uh, some Pacific cards if your player's in there. And you will not be disappointed. So, um the next card I'm going to show, and I'm going to show the Griffey last. And you're wondering, why are you going to show the Griffey last? What else are you showing? You only told me you're showing two cards. Well, like I said, this card I've been waiting for for a long time. And when I didn't pull the trigger on, it was selling for about 50 bucks, 60 bucks. And now this card sells from 180 to 220 all day long. And I'm like, I'm never going to spend that kind of money on this card. I'll just, you know, it is what it is. Well, I was on eBay late one night and the whole set popped up. And I, I know a lot of you probably don't like when people talk about prices. Um, for me, I don't do it uh, maliciously or with intent to like, you know, tell people how much money I'm spending. Um, I just like to give people kind of a ballpark of what. I'm paying for cards that I'm doing a lot of research on, so you know maybe it'll help somebody else at least know a benchmark if you're not a 90s collector or a player collector, what have you. So that's why I kind of do it. Um, but this, I bought this whole set for about 110 bucks. Might even have been a little, a little less, and it um, shipping was free. And for those of you who know this set, there's 10 total cards, and there's some big guys. And I'm going to show them all off, and I'm going to go from the back to the front, because Griffey's number one in the set. And these cards were one out of 288 packs, so it would have taken cases upon cases to pull this whole set. And I know Bill probably would do the math and, and let me know, but um, my rudimentary math style, cases and cases. So without further ado, I'm going to show off the Jeter. Look at this rainbow um, technology. Uh, it's faceted like a diamond. Uh, die cut out on clear acetate. Um, you will find them some yellowed, some not. I have to assume it has something to do with the way they were stored. If somebody was a smoker and or they were stored in sunlight, like in a showcase at a card shop. So there's the Jeter. Got a Chipper Jones here. And I do have two of these, so if anybody's interested, let me know. 
Kerry Wood. Yes, Kerry Wood. Remember him? He was good for a short time there, and he made it into some of those higher-end inserts that Greg Maddox, shout out to Bill. Sure you have that. Got Mike Piazza. Big Mac. And if anybody um, that has one of these has it in a one touch, so leave, leave me a message down below. I, I want to know what ones fit it. I tried an Ultra Pro 35 point, but it, it, it's a little wide, the card. So there, I'm wondering if there's a different brand out there that's a little wider. Got Ripken. A-Rod. Shout out to Matt. Essential Credentials. Frank Thomas. And the Griffey. Beautiful, beautiful card. Love this. Um, I think there's only two, uh, maybe three. Uh, I, I'm not including like a PMG or, or anything like that with regard to Griffey 90 card that I'm still searching. Um, off the top of my head, I know for sure the Pinnacle Skylines Griffey is one that I'm, I really want. But uh, I've done a pretty good job over the past year knocking off some of those Griffey 90s inserts that I've always wanted. So, you know, I don't... Now that I have the whole set, I like that they're all together. Uh, my intention was not to um, keep the whole set. I was going to, you know, package some of them out to cover the cost of the Griffey. But, uh, you know, I'm going to keep them together for right now. But if anybody is interested, just let me know. You know, I can always take note of it. And, um, you know, I don't collect any of the other guys per se. So, um, yeah, just let me know. And that's about it, guys. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to do a vintage video. And everybody stay safe and well out there. Have a good one.